Welcome back to Feel Better Fast and Make It Last, our series on my brand new book, which people can pre-order at feelbetterfast.com. We've been talking about our brain XL formula, and we have a couple more things to do on the brain, including what we're going to talk about in this podcast, Control Yourself. Um, we're going to talk about how important it is to take care of of your prefrontal cortex. And then in the next one, we're going to talk about change and how people can change their behavior. Mm -hmm. But um, the most human thoughtful part of you is your prefrontal cortex. And I know we've talked about it before, but let's talk about it in more detail. Um, we finished the last podcast by saying if there's no forethought, there is no foreplay. <laughs> and yes, many guys can just turn on, but that's not true yeah, for women many don't. women. Yeah. Is that you need to be romanced. Well, and women are bit. for women that can start with, you know, helping her do the dishes and just, you know, being nice to her, giving her a hug and you know what I mean, like just being kind and thoughtful throughout the day. You don't get to just show up. <laughs> so it doesn't work like that. So if you want to feel better fast physically, you have to use the front third of your brain. You need to be thinking about it when you wake up in the morning. Your brain. Yeah. So the front third of your brain is called the prefrontal cortex. Right. Largest in humans than any other animal by far. It's 30% of the human brain, 11% of the chimpanzee's brain, 7% of Aslan's brain or your dog's right. brain, 3% of Miso's brain or your cat's brain. 1% of the mouse's brain. Mm -hmm. This is why you should never let a child hit a soccer ball with their forehead because it can damage their prefrontal cortex. It's why you don't let kids play tackle football because it can damage right. their brain. So what does the prefrontal cortex do? It's called the executive part of the brain because it's like the boss at work. It's involved with executive functions like focus and forethought, judgment, impulse control, organization, planning, empathy, learning from the mistakes you make. And when the prefrontal cortex is low in activity as an ADD, or you've had too much to drink, or you're smoking pot, um, or it's hurt, all of those things tend to go out the window and you don't feel better mm -hmm. fast. You have trouble focusing, you're more like impulsive, fog, right? you're easily distracted, you're disorganized, you tend to procrastinate, and the decisions you make are not well, that great. And I know we've all had days like this. So yesterday I described it because I two days in a row I got less than seven hours of sleep and we were rushing, like on the go. You were on the Dr. Phil show. Like we were just so many things. We had to rush to an event and get there. And do you remember last night? I'm like, I, I feel like I've been hungover and my entire day has been out of sync. Left my phone somewhere. Like, and I'm not used to that. Usually I'm pretty buttoned up. And I'm like, I like everything's out of sync. That's what that's like. That's that exact. That's exactly what it's like when you when your frontal lobes aren't working right. So and it's very important. They're the last part of the brain to develop, and what that means, they're the last part of the brain that becomes myelinated. So myelin is a white fatty substance that wraps your neurons and it makes them more efficient. When you're like two three months old, your occipital lobes. Myelinate. That's why when you look at a baby, the baby looks back right. and smiles at you because she's taking you in. And myelinization happens from the back of the brain, and it actually doesn't finish to the front part of your brain, so it goes back to front um, until you're about 25 And yet or we send kids off to live on their own at 18. Which I'm just not a fan of because we see the incidence of depression and suicide, the first psychotic breaks when they kids go off to college. Go off first to college. Yeah. And so what disrupts myelinization? Smoking, drinking, drug use, depression, Chronic trauma, stress. toxins. So all the bright minds risk factors that we, talked, we about. talked about. So I think we should be protecting children um, until they're a little bit older. Yeah. So when there are problems in the prefrontal cortex, um, erratic decision-making, they tend to be late, their judgment, empathy, things are off. So if you want to have a healthy brain, 
and you want to make good decisions, you have to protect your prefrontal cortex. And you do that by sleeping seven hours at least, um, which is why for my travel schedule, because I travel a lot, I don't let them schedule six o'clock flights for me because I know that whole day may be in jeopardy because I might not be able to get. Yeah. And if you're a morning person like me, I can leave really early so that I can get to bed early. So just, just to, you have to know your, your circadian rhythm, right? So that you can plan for that. So sleep is essential. Eating. They've actually found relapse for addicts yes. happens when their blood sugar goes low. So avoid and the sugar. So eating and... three, four, five times if you need to, to avoid the low blood flow states, which go with more anxiety and bad And avoiding making. foods that keep triggering the addiction center. So the You need to learn to foods. say no to yourself. Right. Uh, it's like a muscle. Um, practice saying no to others. Mm-hmm. Too often, especially people with low frontal lobe, somebody asks them to do something, they'll just say yes. And I have my patients practice. I have to think about that. I like and then that. Ask you taught them, me that. So I have to think. If, if you can't just say no, then just say, I have to think about it. And the other one is, no, thank you. So because people have a hard time, it's like, oh, no, thank you. Just just. You know, I have to think about it. Just don't automatically say yes. So people ask me all the time to do things, and I just can't or I wouldn't be able to sleep. Um, Be very clear about your goals. We talk about the one-page miracle a lot here on one piece of paper. Write down what you want, and then ask yourself, does this, what someone's asking me to do, fit the goals I have for my life? And it doesn't fit. You have to say no. Mm In addiction circles, to help your judgment, they have a mnemonic called HALT. Don't get too hungry, low blood sugar. Angry, negative thinking drops brain function. Lonely or tired. So don't get too hungry, angry, lonely, or tired because those are the things that increase relapse yeah and then cut out sugar and foods that turn to sugar it's just, just so yeah. important so um supplements can help boost the prefrontal cortex uh, we make focus and energy mm-hmm. specifically to do that um brand Green new tea. study out of um holland that uh, omega-3 fatty acids actually increased executive function mm-hmm. So and isn't theanine good too? Theanine can be very helpful. Um, ask yourself, does my behavior get me what I want? Does it fit the goals I have for my life? Um, tiny habits to help you with um, making good decisions when I'm tempted by something that's bad for my brain. I'll hum to myself just for a few minutes until the temptation goes away. It's a new study on the um, game, computer game, Tetris, that people who have cravings, if they just play Tetris for like 10 minutes, so their weird. cravings. But isn't it weird how it like, okay, so that's a really weird thing. So I sometimes when I'm having trouble sleeping. Um, I will play the word games or Tetris and it like zones my brain out. I know some people say it keeps them awake. Not me. It like puts me almost in like a hip, hypnotic trance. It's the weirdest thing. It's like and weird. another little tiny habit, when I feel out of sorts, I'll just take 10 deep dry, diaphragmatic yeah. breaths. And in that way, get good oxygen to my brain, recenter myself. There are so okay. many things. Wait, I have to, do. I just have to, <laughs> I have to plug this, which is funny because I always tease you about it. So the, your, um, soundtrack for bright minds and for feel better fast that you came up with, like, okay, it's a joke in our family because the guy who wears black jeans and black t-shirts got written up in style magazine as the fat, okay. New York magazine, New York times Magazine, style icon. Okay. Fashion icon. And then his, he doesn't play a musical instrument or anything, but his two soundtracks have been on billboards like list, like top whatever list forever, forever. It's crazy. It's like so. So annoying. Barry Goldstein and I have created. We're now going to launch our third album. Uh, Barry creates all the music. I just help him with the direction of it. Right. So music for How bright does this minds. Happen? 
35 weeks on Billboard's New Age chart. Uh, Makes my darn. It debuted at number two. Um, so let, let, let me just... And then um, coming soon in November, we have Feel Better Fast and Make It Last. It's beautiful music for focus, relaxation, creativity, sleep, right. boost your mood. Because as we talked about, music can do that. And we hope it does really well, but we're not so creating I, it for that. We're creating it for you but let me, to feel better. Fast. So, I mean, but anyways, this makes my daughter like roll her eyes, right? Just like he just like shows up and stuff happens like this. It's just crazy. But I do want to plug it because when I can't sleep at night, when I'm having trouble, or I'm feeling stressed. Like I have to admit, I hate it even admitting it to you because it's just so ridiculous that like you get all this stuff like that. <laughs> It's amazing. It actually is really helpful. It helps me. There's there's um, tracks on there that help with meditation for, for increasing energy, but there are ones on there that help you just like totally relax and just z like zone out. So it's, it actually is a really good track. So Feel better fast and make it last. When we come back, we're going to talk about change. You can pre-order the book now at feelbetterfast.com. Com. And when you do, you can download the introduction in chapter one for the book, uh, Starter Guide, sort of the cliff notes for Feel Better Fast, uh, so helpful. Um, in addition, uh, audios uh, to Feel Better Fast, hypnosis tracks I do for you, and Tana's new cookbook, The 10 Day Brainers. Stay with us. Use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or on our supplements at brainmdhealth.com. Thank you for listening to the Brain Warriors Way podcast. Go to iTunes and leave a review and you'll automatically be entered into a drawing to get a free signed copy of the Brain Warriors Way and the Brain Warriors Way cookbook we give away every month.